Hello, today I'm going to show you how ReSharper can help enforce your naming conventions. By default, ReSharper comes with a bunch of rules for various naming conventions. These rules are easily configurable to meet whatever needs your naming conventions have. Let's take a look at a class that has a bunch of misnamed objects. First, we'll take a look at this constant. According to our naming conventions, constant fields should be in all capital letters, like 20 is written here. However, by default, ReSharper does not come with that particular option for constants, so I'm going to configure it so that it matches our naming conventions. I'm going to hit Alt-Enter to open up the Actions menu, and instead of hitting Rename to 20, I'm going to go to Change Settings. I'm going to select the name style that we use, and then hit OK. Now the warning is gone since we've changed it to match what our standards actually are. Let's take a look at some of these other fields. This private field should be named with an underscore at the beginning, underscore private string. This public property should start with a capital P and not have an underscore. And in all of these instances, I'm simply hitting Alt-Enter, like I have for a plethora of other ReSharper shortcuts, and then selecting the first action, which is the rename action. As I rename these fields, properties, methods, and parameters, all of the usages of these variables and objects get updated automatically. This local variable should have a lowercase l. As you can see, it's very easy to locate, identify, and fix errors in naming convention. Now let's take care of the incorrectly named class, naming convention demo. It should, of course, not have the underscores. However, instead of using Alt-Enter to fix this, I'm going to use the F2 rename option. Using the F2 rename option for classes provides additional benefits. I'll hit F2, and it brings up the rename menu. This screen allows us to do a couple additional things in addition to just renaming the object and updating usages. In addition to just renaming the class, it will also synchronize the file name to match the class name, as well as search and comments and string literals for instances of naming underscore convention underscore demo. I'm going to remove the underscores, and then hit next. Now ReSharper is telling me that it's found a comment with the old name, and it's asking me if I want to change that as well. I'm going to go ahead and do that, since if I should ever uncomment that, it will automatically work. I'll hit Next. And in addition to the comment being changed, as well as the class name, the file name has also been synchronized to match the class name as well. And that's ReSharper naming convention enforcement in a nutshell. With a few simple tweaks, you can configure ReSharper to automatically monitor and notify you of any misnamed variables, methods, etc. in your code. They will all be highlighted and easy to find and easy to fix. And that's all there is today.